Well, hello everyone. Today I would like to share with you how to register for and sign into My Rotary and the reason we need to do that. My Rotary is access to the Rotary International website. There's basically two websites that each Rotarian needs to have a registration and sign in for. One is My Rotary, which we'll cover today, and the other will be covered in another video, and that's the DACDB site. Now, DACDB is something that you may have heard over the last year, it replaced Club Runner. So forget about Club Runner. DACDB is what we will be using to access information related to our club website and our district websites. My Rotary expands it beyond into Rotary International. The My Rotary site offers several different features and benefits that you'll find useful and helpful as a Rotarian. Primarily, the donate button. This is where we donate to the Rotary Foundation. It also has a learning center, which is one of my favorite centers on here, where they offer videos to help you become a better Rotarian, to help you better understand the different positions in the district and the different positions on the board and different projects that are happening in Rotary. And one of the biggest benefits is the personal development which partners with Toastmasters, and there's videos on learning how to be a better speaker and videos how to be a better leader. So definitely some good benefits. These are all included as part of your Rotary membership. So let's get started. You go up to this upper right-hand corner. If you have a sign-in already, well, you're already there, so sign in and play with it. If you don't, go to register, and it's pretty quick. It takes you right here to create an account. Put in your name, your email, confirm your age, and then you'll just hit continue and follow the prompts. It will help you set up a login and a password. I strongly suggest that you use the same login and password for my Rotary that you do for your DACDB. So how do you get here in the first place? It's easy. You don't have to type anything but the following. My dot rotary dot o r g that's my dot rotary dot o r g and that will get you right into the main page of my rotary once you're in and once you've registered then you'll want to log in which is what i'm doing right now i've already got my password login memorized into my system and it does take a few moments to log in. Please be patient. Here we go. So now I'm logged in. I've got options. I'm going over to the Learning and Reference Center. I could go to the Learning Center. And you can see this drop down. You click in there and go to the features that we talked about. There's multiple different areas. I'm not going to go over all of them, but I strongly suggest that you do. Just spend some time playing on it a little bit. It'll help. Uh, enhance your rotary journey. I do want to focus a little bit here on donate. If you hit the donate button, it made it very simple to donate to the Rotary Foundation. Look at this. You can scroll down here and you can donate to multiple causes, the annual fund, polio, disaster response, or the world fund. Or if you want to drill down a little deeper, you can click up on this tab and you can take it to an area of focus, such as maternal and child health, or basic education and literacy, or several others. So just to give you a quick example, let's say I wanna to go to the polio fund. I go to featured causes, I click polio fund. I can scroll past this unless I wanna make my donation in the memory of someone else. You go to your donation state and country, it's already pre-filled. You have an option to go a one-time donation or a recurring donation. If I choose a recurring donation, It'll open up a drop down where I can check my frequency monthly, quarterly, or annually. The reason you'd want to do a recurring donation is let's say you would like to get yourself to a Paul Harris donation level, which is $1,000 per year. Instead of making it all in one, one payment, you can break it up monthly and it'll charge your credit card monthly. And in, at the end of the year, you'll be a Paul Harris donor. So let's say I want to go and do a one time donation. I have several options. I'm going to choose $25. Now that seems like a pretty small amount, 
But just keep in mind, Rotary International has challenged each and every Rotarian to donate a minimum of $25 per year. That's kind of the expectation of Rotary International, and that's what's expected for all club members. We'd sure like to see each of our club members have a donation level higher, but at least $25. Now you go down to your personal information, you type that in, your payment, using a credit card, so simple, your billing address, and then right here you hit submit. Once you're there, you'll receive a receipt in the email and you'll be done. So basically that's it, the rest is up to you. So I encourage you, please sign up for my.rotary.org today. We'd like to have 100% participation for all of our club and then we can move on to learning about DACDB. Have a terrific day.